Apple just released the Watch OS 8 and it is packed with so many nice features. In this video, I'm going to show you guys all those features, how to access them and how to customize them. Hi guys, this is Big Phil and welcome back to another video. This time, I'm going to be showing you guys all the newest features for the Watch OS 8. And as I just mentioned earlier, it comes with a lot of great features and I'm going to talk about all those features in this video but I'm gonna try my best to keep it short and simple. And please, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notification for a lot of good videos come up on the channel. Let's check out all those newest features. Let's start by talking about the newest watch faces for the Watch OS 8. And there are three new watch faces. The first one is the one you can, you can see right here. This is called Nike Bounce. There is also World Time and Portraits or Photos. Now the first one, Nike Bounce. The same, you can either use on or off. Off gives you a dark mode. Then you can also change the colors, so many colors to choose from. It's so customizable with a lot of colors. And I like the rainbow. This one also look good. Yes, yeah, so many good colors, man. But I like rainbow, let's use this. Then there is also world time, which is also highly customizable. It gives you all the different time zone in the world. And lastly, there is portraits. Portrait is nice, it's so cool, which you can choose about 24 photos to put on your portrait. And each time you raise your wrist, it changes to a new uh, picture. Like right now, if I close it, then I go back, it will change to new photos every time you raise your wrist. You can also find other devices using your Apple Watch because there is now Find My Device. And as you can see right here, Find My Device, right now my, my iPhone and my iPad Pro are connected to my Apple Watch, which means if I left them somewhere, I can find them. And if, for example, you can play music or you can play a sound to let you know where exactly you left your device, and you can even track it down by using the map to track it. And there is a good feature here, notified when left behind. This is really nice. That means if you leave your device, for example, if you leave your smartphone behind, the watch will send you or give you a notification to let you know that, hey, you left your phone or you left this stuff behind. This is very nice. Then there is also lost mode. Lost mode means when you left your device behind and you go for a distance, let's say, for example, you move for like five or six meters or 10 meters, the device that you left behind will automatically lock so that no one can access it. Then it will drop a message on the device so that anyone that finds it will know exactly where to take it to. This is a very nice feature, man. I love this. There is a new application called Mindful. I mean, actually, it's not really new because before it was known as Breathe, but now it is called Mindful. When you tap on it, you got Reflex and Breathe. Now, if you tap on Reflex, it takes you into a moment of meditation and you can tap on begin. Then this is watch, the, wa uh, the watch now play or shows this colorful video, which it looks nice. And it takes you into a moment of meditation, probably for like one minute, two minutes. It's the same thing as breathe, but this one is meditation. It's nice. In messages, you can correct error in text by using a digital crown. Let me show how it works. Let's take for example that I'm in messages and I'm typing a new message and I realized that I made a mistake. You can use the digital crown. You go back exactly where you want to delete. And if, for example, here, you delete it, then you can write it again. So using the digital crown is much better than using a finger. So with digital crown, it's precise. You know exactly where you want to correct the error. Very precise and nice. There are some new exercises for the Watch OS 8. If you get in here, you got things like cool down, you have uh, car training, you have pilots and Tai Chi. These are all new exercises added onto the watch. The watch can also automatically dictate when you're doing cycling. It can also pause and resume during cycling, which is great. And if a headphone is connected to your Apple Watch, the watch can measure in real time the audio quality and the volume. All you have to do is to go down to the control panel, you screw right down to the bottom, you tap on this ear icon, then right here, headphones volume. Now it lets you know if the volume is too loud or it's normal or it's okay. It will let you know right here. Sleep tracking has also been improved on the watch OS 8. Now, if you take your watch to bed, the watch can track your respiration rate and let you know whenever there is any abnormalities. Yeah, 
And for all the Fitness Plus subscribers, there is a good news. There is a lot of improvement on the Fitness Plus. First of all, there is now meditation guides, which means when you're doing a meditation, there is a guide that can let you know, tell you what to do and how to do it. There is also pilot workouts on the Fitness Plus. There is also picture-in-picture -picture mode on the Fitness Plus. Picture-in-picture -picture mode means you can be doing a workout and you're seeing yourself and seeing a video from your phone or your tablet, which is great. The weather app has also been improved. Now it has so much information. It can also send you a notification alert whenever it's going to rain or snow. And if you get in, you have so much important information, air quality, the UV index, wind speed, everything is right here. You can also change the viewing. So let's say right now I'm viewing temperature and I can change to conditions of the day or you can change to precipitation. So it has so much important information about everything and all different cities. And with the Watch OS 8, the Home app has gained so much improvement. It is now so useful. That means you can control and check the status of all different Apple smart devices that are connected on the Home app from your Apple Watch. And with the Apple Wallet on your Apple Watch, you can now store digital keys on the Apple Wallet, which means you can use your Apple Watch to unlock doors, cars, and even hotel rooms. It makes everything so easy, so you don't have to be walking around with so many different digital keys. You just un uh, download everything on your Apple Watch in the Apple Wallet. Memoji has also been improved. There are some few new features that you can use to customize your Memoji. Now, if you get in, let's say we're creating a new Memoji right now. You scroll right down to the bottom, especially clothing. There are about 40 new outfits that you can use to customize Memoji. And as you can see, they look good. I mean, they're based on different cultures and different traditions all around the world. As you can see, very nice, a lot of different outfits. And you can also change the colors of those outfits. You can change the main color and you can change the second color. Everything can be changed here. This is nice. And the last feature I'm going to talk about is focus. There is now focus on the Apple Watch. And focus lets you set the time in which you don't want to be disturbed. You tap on focus. You can either use do not disturb or you can mirror from your iPhone, which means on my iPhone, I have focus already set up on my iPhone. So I can use the same one from my iPhone. And yeah. And that's all about this video, guys. All the newest features for the Watch OS 8. Let me know down in the comment section if there's any feature I forgot to mention. Let me know down in the comment section, please. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn the notification for more videos, more great videos coming up on Bakefield TV. Until then, see you into the next one. Peace.